Well hi there and welcome back to the channel. It's a rather chilly Easter Sunday morning and uh, I should be basking in the relative comfort of the guides with the Chinese diesel heater blowing away. But unfortunately it's not. That's the current temperature in the guides, 9 degrees, which isn't that terribly cold. It runs through a cycle and then starts to fire up. Now a red warning triangle flashing is never a good sign. And no heat coming out is also not a good sign. So having checked all this out, on YouTube and Google and all this I've discovered that E3 means that the heater plug in the heater isn't working. So I checked out the parts on eBay and Amazon and I got uh, one ordered and it arrived yesterday. So we're going to take this heater apart and see if we can replace the heater plug and perhaps get the thing to work again. I did contact the seller and that I bought it for, uh, off and he neglected to reply because the heater's only, uh, the heater's only a month old it shouldn't have broken already but there you go right we'll get it off the wall here and get it stripped down so we'll have it up in the bench now basically this is just a, a top cover which we can hopefully remove Take this off. Right, what have I got? Fuel tank with only a little fuel left in it. This is the, the fuel pump fuel line, there's your 12 volt feed on the way in, that's kind of hard to show you this, that's your air intake which goes in the bottom and this is the actual heater unit itself, so we'll have to disconnect the fuel, this is all just sort of sitting, it's not even held in place, the, the cover holds it all in place. Right, I'm going to have to get you set up on a tripod here and start disconnecting bits and pieces. Right, let's get this tank off. Okay, I'm going to drain this out. Well, I don't really need to drain it out. Right, I'll have to get the air intake off the bottom of the heater itself. And the heater is held onto the frame by four screws, so we'll slacken those off as well. I'll 
to get that uh, fuel line off the bottom, that's where the diesel goes into the heater to, to be burnt. everything so tight? I suppose it has to be. Alright, went with a bit of a bang. Let's tip her up. What have we got? That's attached to that. Alright, we'll disconnect this multi plug here. Okay, okay. That are the road. That we plate just, oh, it just sits there. Okay. This this should just lift out. I'll have to I'll have to remove this plate here and get the fuel line. Get the clip off the fuel line. I'm gonna have to remove the clip, the securing clip of the fuel line, and then thread the line up through and away out. This is the line that comes from the pump. Get it out of the road. There's a drop of diesel in that, which I could do without spilling all over the place. Right. The plate now comes away. Which leaves the heater unit free to come out. He said expectantly. the unit itself. We'll set this to the side. This is just a plastic cover which is removed by taking this off the end. It splits in two halves. I had screws off. That's what it is, that screws off. Okay. This is the heater itself. Fan. Pull that wire out of there. Should come up out of that. And there is the heater in all its glory. Now I've checked this out on YouTube, that's where the heater plug is in, it's connected to the the motherboard for want of a better word there. Uh, to get this out <laughs> you need a special spanner, a, a special socket actually with a slot cut in it, it's 12 millimeters, and I don't have that so there is an alternative way of getting it off which is to pull this part of the heater off, disconnect these, and get a spanner on it. So we'll try that. Oh dear. What am I going to need? Allen keys for that. 
Let's make a start with these Allen keys. Come on. Ah, <laughs> right, okay. Gonna have to remove this to get at that. That's a short one. Clips on there somehow. <laughs> See that? Okay. Let's get this last one out. Right. Oh yes. Let's set that all very carefully to the side. Here we have now the uh, the heater plug here. That's where the fuel goes on that line. It gets pumped through here and in and directly in line with the heater plug, which then heats the fuel up and causes it to burn and just disconnect this from the motherboard get a 12 mil spanner for that okay I don't know. Let's hear plugs go. Okay. Now look what I have here. The wires seem to be in the same place. The little cover's a different colour, but that's not an issue. I'll screw this cover off. Get this into place. That's that tight. And then as it says in all good instruction manuals, reassemble parts in reverse order. And we'll go with that. Hopefully that'll work.
Right. And connect the heater plug to the motherboard. At least that fits nicely. And I get the motherboard. Back on here. <laughs> you can see where the wee clips go now, they just slide up into that. In fact, I could even just put that on there like that, it would be even better. Yep, that seems to be it. All right, let's get this back into the cover. How the heater actually works is, the whole body of the heater just heats up with the diesel and the fan blows the heat across the fins and then it comes out <laughs> through your four vents into the, into the open air. It's, it's very, very, very simple, but hopefully simple and efficient from now on. Let's get this back in. spots there that's that uh, but I get that wire on the inside okay Top half offered up. That looks like it should go there. Yep. Everything seems to be in place. That's that on. It's not a great fit, like you see, it's, you know, this is why I don't want to cast aspersions on Chinese goods, but they're not made to any fantastic quality. Anyway, that's that back together again. Let's get it into the body of the heater. Start those four screws. All right. 
right, that's those done. Let's set her up on our bum. Like that. Right, we have to get this plate in. The wire comes up through that and the the diesel line goes down through it. It seems to just hook, there's a couple of slots on the end plates and it just hooks over them. Like that. And like that. Right, we'll offer up a multi plug. In fact, that goes down through that. that connected I want to get some diesel into the, the line that goes down to the heater so I have a wee syringe full here if you can't see I have a wee syringe full that I'm going to try and fill the fuel line here so whenever the heater fires up it's not gasping and having to bleed itself if I give this a couple of Shots of diesel. It'll, uh, that's, that's good, starting to fill the line up there now. I'll keep at this. I'm taking the, the diesel out of the tank. It's a, it's a tedious operation. You lower the fuel line down out of the tank. Like that. Saving the diesel into the syringe. And then insert and squirt. Let's start reassembling. Pump lane. Where's my tank? Everything seems to be in place. One clip. That would appear to be it. The unfortunate thing is, you have to put it back onto the wall again to get the exhaust to go out through. You can't just sort of fire it up on the bench to make sure it's going okay. You have to more or less reconnect everything to get it to, to work. 
So we'll give that a throw. Just get this air intake back on again. Right, let's reconnect the power supply. That's that done. I don't have it bolted yet because I don't know if it's going to work so We'll switch her on at the wall. Well, that seems to be working okay. Fingers crossed. It's going to take some time for it to bleed. What happens is it goes through the, the warming up cycle and then eventually after the heater plug heats the diesel the pump kicks in and starts to pump, pump the fuel in. So this could take a while. And when it does eventually fire up, the smoke coming out of the back will be unbelievable. I saw a puff. I'm sure I saw a puff of smoke there. Yep, yeah, look. It's going to be like Stevenson's rocket whenever it gets going. That's the pump kicking in. A strange sound. I'm starting to get a bit frightened now. There you go. Sucks. Oh, there. Here we're going now. Success. Nothing succeeds like a budgie with no teeth. Well, I have to say I'm pleased. Right, before we get too excited, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock it off here and get it re-secured under the brackets and tighten the exhaust. I just wanted to make sure it was working. So there you go. If you've got one of your Chinese diesel heaters and it shows an E3 code, it means that your heater plug's defective. And that was mine after about less than a month of use. They're available on eBay for about 13 or 14 pounds. And that'll get you back on the road again. Hopefully this will have been some help to you. 
though there are plenty of guys on YouTube doing videos about these, so that's where I learnt it. Happy days, I'm going to go and eat some Easter eggs now. In the heat. All the best, see you later.